The Present by Spencer Johnson There was a little boy who lived in a roller country, and there was an old man who lived near the little boy's house. The two had known each other for a while, and they enjoyed making conversations with each other. One day, the old man told the boy that there is a present, which is the most valuable ever. As when he receives it, he will enjoy things more and be able to work with better efficiency. And it doesn't change with time, so he can rely on to make his life happier. The boy wished that one of his relatives would give him this present on his next birthday. But the old man told him that this gift couldn't be given to him by anyone, but he must discover it by himself. Every Saturday, the boy used to cut the grass for his own house and for the neighbors' houses, and he used to whistle while doing this work. He seemed happy, despite the work he was doing. With the passage of time, the boy grew up and became a young man, and during this period, he tried to search for the present in magazines, newspapers, and books, and he traveled to many countries, hoping to find it. But to no avail, and therefore, the young man gave up and accepted a job with a local company. The young man was loyal in his work, profession in all the work assigned to him, and everyone said so, and he was expecting to get promoted, but he was skipped, and this promotion was given to someone else. The young man got very angry because of what happened, and anxiety and frustration began to control him and affect his career and social life. So his functional competence began to decline, and his fiancé decided to break up with him. Therefore, the young man decided to return to the old man, perhaps he would tell him the truth about the present. The old man was pleased to see the young man and advised him to have some quality time away from his routine, as maybe the present might come to him there. The young man followed the old man's advice and spent some time in a hut in a mountainous region. And in the hut, the young man observed the large fireplace in it, which consists of large and small stones arranged in an amazing artistic way. At this moment, he didn't think about the past or about what might happen in the future, but he was enjoying what he's doing now. And that was the same feeling he felt when he was cutting the grass when he was a little boy, so he knew the gift. Be to remember, the present is not the past or the future, the present is the current moment, the present is now. The young man returned to the old man and he was happy after discovering the present and the old man was pleased that the young man found it and asked him about his current feeling. So the young man answered him that he found himself feeling more happy and he realized that he wasn't thinking about the past and he wasn't worried or afraid of what might happen in the future. Then the young man asked the old man how can a present help him if he faced a bad situation? The old man answered him that even in the most difficult situations when you focus on what's right at the current moment, this will make you happier today and give you the necessary energy and confidence to deal with what's wrong. The young man thanked the old man for his many advices and he decided to return back to work and apply what he has learned. He realized that he didn't get the expected promotion, but he's still keeping his job despite the challenges and fluctuations that the company was going through. And he's still enjoying good health and working in an organized and calm work environment. In addition, there were still many opportunities that he could seize to develop the business, which would enable him to get appreciation and honor. Bit to remember, being in the present means getting rid of what distracts you. After a period of time, the young man faced a new problem in one of the projects, as his colleague in the project was making a little effort and presenting few ideas. And therefore, the work was accumulating on the young man and he was handling all the work by himself and the results of this decision were disappointing. As the quality of work was substandard and the deadline for the delivery of the project has passed and his boss expressed his disappointment and frustration because of his performance in this project. The young man felt a failure and his faith in his new abilities began to diminish and disappear. 
So he decided to go to the old man, hoping that he would find solace or anything that may enable him to pass this ordeal. And when he met the old man, he told him about his problem, and the old man concluded that the main problem is that the young man hates confrontation. As he didn't face his colleague at work and spoke with him directly and honestly about the problem he's facing and how his lack of contribution to the project leads to poor performance and delayed completion. Also, this problem was the main reason for his breaking up with his fiance, as he wasn't facing problems and he was trying to avoid them. Then the old man told him that many people avoid looking at the past and as a result they learn a few things or they don't learn at all and they keep repeating the same mistakes so that their present becomes just like their past. But to remember, if you have any problem, you have to face it, as you can't change the past, but you can learn from it. The young man returned to work and got promoted as he was dreaming of, and his relationship with his new fiancé strengthened more, and they spent more time together. The young man went through a period of prosperity and growth, However, with the passage of days, the responsibility of the young man increased according to the new position until the business began to slip away from his hands. So he decided to go to the old man so that he could find a solution to this problem. The old man received him warmly and the young man told him about the problem of the large number of tasks assigned to him and told him that he began to think that the new position is greater than him, his abilities and skills. The old man told the young man that there's another important element that he didn't pay attention to, which is the future, and that it was wise to start making his future from now, and he told him that no one can predict or control the future, but still, if you imagined what you want to happen in the future with greater clarity and planned for it, and you did something to achieve it, your concern for it in the present will decrease and the future will become clearer to you. Likewise, setting a noble goal is the link between the past, the present and the future. When you live and work in changing times for a noble goal and respond to what's more important today, you become more able to lead, manage, support, befriend and love. Bit to remember, imagine what the bright future could look like, know your goal and discover different ways to make your life more meaningful. Thanks for watching. Please follow our social media accounts. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.